Hello and welcome back. I'm Christine Corrado. With me right now is Stephen Quinn, CEO at Midas Gold. Stephen, great to meet you. How are you? Doing very good. Thank you. Stephen, if you could give us an introduction to the company to get started with. Sure. So Midas Gold is a Canadian and OTCQX listed company that is focused on a gold project in central Idaho. Uh, that's our sole asset. And we're busily advancing it through uh, feasibility, which is due soon, and the permitting process to get the project into production. Can you talk a bit about what the project economics look like? Sure. So we did a feasibility study. It's As I say, it's going to be replaced by a, a pre-feasibility study. It's going to be replaced by a feasibility study that's coming out before the end of the year. But that uh, pre-feasibility study indicated uh, annual production around 340,000 ounces of gold per year, all in sustaining costs around $600 per ounce. So you know, very substantial amount of production and uh, you know, very attractive and competitive operating costs. I know this has kind of been, it's really an inflection point right now. Where are you right now with project permitting? Sure. So we started permitting in September 2016 when we filed our application. And uh, we've been through essentially four years of review by agencies. And uh, they published the draft environmental impact statement in August, mid-August. Um, and that led to a 75-day public comment period on the draft EIS, which just wrapped up at the end of October. Um, so with that uh, milestone behind us, you know, we're now focused on, um, you know, they're preparing the final EIS and a final decision, which hopefully should come within about 12 months from now. And then when would the feasibility study take place? Uh, we anticipate having the feasibility study out by the end of the year. So end of this year. So, uh, you know, within the next month or uh, two. Since you are a gold company, I have to ask you this question. What are your thoughts right now on the current U.S. presidential election if we were to see a Biden presidency versus a Trump presidency, how would that impact the gold price? Um, I mean, my view is somewhat, you know, it probably doesn't make a huge amount of difference in that both um, parties and, and both platforms are really based on, you know, the need for additional stimulus spending, um, which should result in a higher gold price. Um, you know, as a general rule, because you're spending, you know, debt uh, and therefore devaluing currencies. And I think that's sort of a global phenomena, not just the United States, but everywhere. So, you know, against currencies everywhere, gold is appreciating. And I think that trend is likely to continue as we see economies try and recover from, you know, the, the impact, economic impact of COVID. That seems to be what most gold exploration companies are saying these days. You did mention that you are listed in Canada as well as the U.S. on the OTCQX. What value have you seen on being on the OTCQX? Oh, it's had a significant, uh, I mean, value is always hard to determine, but impact on trading and things like that has definitely, you know, been a significant positive. Um, you know, we listed, I think, in 2012 on the OTCQX and on an average month, I mean, it could vary, but on an average month, um, the uh, OTCQX trading will be bigger than our TSX trading. Um, it's much more, I would characterize retail focused because um, you see a lot smaller trades. The institutions tend to go through Toronto, but you know it's a very, very active market and substantially increased our liquidity um, and exposure to the US market overall. So it's been very helpful. Great to hear. Stephen, good to chat. Thanks so much. Great, thanks very much.